For four decades, Houston News viewers have known Bill Baeza as a reporter and anchor. And now as we celebrate his career and his retirement this week, we begin by honoring Bill for his service to our country. Owen Conflenti shows us how, as a Vietnam veteran, Bill's time in the Marines shaped his life. And that's why it's as a journalist, Bill made it his mission to support military families in our community. From ceremonies of remembrance to events of celebration, over the years, Bill Baeza has been a regular at gatherings honoring our troops. And for Bill, it's personal. More than 50 years ago, he was a young Marine scout sniper called to serve in the Vietnam War. He had no way of knowing when he was preparing to leave his family for Marine boot camp that one day his platoon would play a key role in the Tet Offensive of 1968. Over the years, Bill has reflected on the bond he shares with his Marine brothers, including one he remains close to to this day. We spent a lot of time in the bush, on the long gun, and we really haven't talked about that much over the past 50 years. I don't talk about it, because some of the things we had to do that we don't want nobody else to know. You know, I, that's the bottom line. We did what we had to do to get out of there. Some of the people were not that fortunate. We lost good friends there, <laughs> and a number of them since. Oh, yeah. That special understanding of the sacrifice our troops make has motivated Bill to step up time and time again to honor both notable veterans and lesser known heroes. From Memorial Day services at Houston's VA Cemetery to Veterans Day events at Houston City Hall to Armed Forces Appreciation Day at the rodeo. Bill's passion for our military means long after he's done sitting at the anchor desk, he'll continue to stand with our veterans. I've never told you this, but I love you, brother. I do, too. Bill, thank you for your service to our country and for the years you've given our city, delivering the news and so much more. Enjoy your retirement, every minute of it. You've certainly earned it. Hey, thank you, Owen. And, and that was a nice piece. And, you know, uh, we also want to mention that you're also a big supporter of our local law enforcement community. You have been for years. You, uh, you've been at so many of their events, including the Texas Peace Officers Association one recently, I know. My heart's with first responders, mm -hmm. the Marines first to fight, our, our, our first responder, police officers and firefighters. Wow. Uh, I just think when you, you know, when you um, rush in there to help people, that's... Yeah, because you don't think about, you think about everyone but yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it, it takes a lot. Yeah. So you're there in Vietnam. Did, did, did you have any inclination you'd be a big anchor man in Houston, Texas? <laughs> you're just trying to get the heck out of there. You know, as a matter of fact, I thought I was going to be a San Antonio police officer. Huh? All those That's a lot of pride in that. Yeah, well, you, you've told me before, in your heart, you still feel like a, a, a uniform man, as you put it. I do. Yeah, I do. Wow. Well, Final you. week. I know. It's Look hard to that. believe. It's, uh, it's surreal, and we're going to miss you, Bill. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah.